GTI, TDI, SLK, CL, GTV, LS. Even though very few people know what they actually mean, if you don't have letters on the back of your car, you are a non-starter in this business. Well, today I'm proud to say that I am a man of letters because the letters GDI are on the back of mine, and what's more, I know what they mean. Gasoline direct injection, hmm? How do I know that? Well, there's a great big sticker on the back telling me. However, I'm not sure what gasoline direct injection really means. I wonder if this fella up here knows. Excuse me, sir. Extraordinary thing. You seem to have the same car as me. Have you any idea what gasoline direct injection really means? Yeah. Well, with direct injection petrol engines, which this is, will actually squirt fuel directly into the combustion chamber as opposed to multi-point injection, which is behind the valve. And what's the point of that? Um, better benefits, such as better fuel economy, lower emissions uh, for the environment, and also more power. Now, how do you know so much about this? Uh, well, my name's Darren Hughes from Mitsubishi Motors UK. I'm a technical trainer for them. Spooky. Well, perhaps you could show me what's actually happening mm -hmm. underneath the bonnet. Yeah, certainly. Okay. Yeah. Ha! Now, as usual these days, there's not a lot to see here, is there? No, there's quite a large plastic cover. Purpose of noise, really, to try and get it a bit quieter. Not saying it's as noisy as a diesel. Same as uh, an MPI vehicle, really. So, just to make it that more, much more quieter. But it's all happening under this, underneath yep. this casing. So, what's going on? Well, basically, the first main part is on the end here is the high-pressure fuel pump. Now to get the fuel directly into the cylinder on a compression stroke, you need to have high pressure. That will produce over 700 PSI. So this is the uh, piston which has got a cavity inside. Uh, again, totally different to most pistons on an MPI vehicle. With this, we can control the reverse air tumble flow uh, and it also just holds the fuel mixture right below the spark plug, exactly where you need it. So basically. that's how it becomes so efficient, because yeah. there's very little fuel there, yeah. but it's right underneath the spark plug. Sure, yeah. It all sounds very clever, but let's find out what it's like to drive. OK. OK? Let's put sure. it to the test. So Darren, what's happening underneath the bonnet as I pull away into the traffic? It uh, will go into its like MPI mode, where you're getting more power so, and more torque as well, about 10% more. Right, so inside the cylinders now, it's, it's pushing the fuel in. Yeah, so as the piston is actually going down, we squirt the fuel in. So that's basically exactly the same way an MPI vehicle would work. But because the fuel has been injected directly into the cylinder, it has like a cooling effect which basically means much better volumetric efficiency, which gives you more power, more air that can go into the engine. The GDI engine differs significantly from its predecessors in one important respect. Both fuel injection and the mixing of fuel and air occur inside the cylinder. The fact that petrol is injected directly into the cylinder enables precise control over the amount of fuel burnt and the timing of injection. And the advantages are fuel efficiency, comparable to a conventional lean burn petrol engine, more power than a conventional petrol engine, and cleaner emissions than any other engine currently available commercially. The GDI engine's ability to deliver high power and fuel efficiency derives from the fact that it operates in two distinct combustion modes. Under normal conditions, such as when you're driving in the city or cruising on the motorway, when power requirements are minimal, the GDI engine operates in ultra-lean combustion mode, which gives you fuel efficiency equal to that of a diesel engine. Now, when you need power to accelerate or pass another vehicle on the motorway, for example, the GDI engine switches automatically to superior output mode, giving you the power and responsiveness only available from a petrol engine. 
Now this isn't a unique system, is it? No, a lot of other manufacturers are trying it or have tried it. Uh, Toyota, they've also got one in Japan. Um, Audi have also got one, but I think they're only in their like trial periods there. This is the world's first in production. So is this a problem that's solved now, or is it technology that will develop further? Uh, certainly will develop further. Uh, Mitsubishi are looking into ways of improving GDI. Uh, we have various models being launched in the future with GDI. Uh, we hope by the year 2001, all models will be available with gasoline direct injection. Okay, Darren, thanks a lot. See you again sometime. So there we have it. Driving the Mitsubishi Charisma GDI means that you're being propelled by an extremely clever piece of design and technology. You're being nicer to the environment. You're saving loads on fuel. But best of all, it says GDI on the back, doesn't it? Cool.